Hi guys, welcome to this uh, virtual box. Topic of the video is URXVT. We used to be so glad we had this and then we could, could do a Control Shift C for example and a Control Shift V. So that's not gonna work anymore. As you see, there is something strange happening to your screen. We have pseudo pacman minus Q, the URXVT Unicode, I guess. Why is it not? Ah, there you go. URXVT, it's, I always forget the name of the package itself. RXVT, is that the, pa yeah, that's the package name. So there is, we use URXVT, but the package is called RXVT Unicode. So we had a jump inversion and hence we cannot copy paste anymore. The, the solution is simple and I'll, I'll provide it in the end. The topic of the video for me is guys, if you have enough knowledge and you start getting to be becoming more like an intermediate Linux user, help people out and report it on a GitHub because that's basically what we've done. How do we do that? Well, we have PAMEC working again. So PAMEC is all red here. And you go to find out, figure out why is this not working? So you look up for the package RxVT. And you have here this package and it's pointing to a website. Let's see if I can find it again, uh, like the first time. We need to find some kind of GitHub somewhere because that's where we get in contact with all these Linux developers from the AWAR packages and ask them, hey, on Arch Linux slash Arch Linux, this doesn't work anymore. Have you any solution? Do you know why? Stuff like that. Is this gonna be? Let's try. So this is not our GitHub. Ah, yeah, true, true, true. We did not report to RXVT Unicode because the copy paste uh, functionality was in the Perl something. Let's have a look. The URXVT Perls. That's where we uh, contacted Munich. All right, Munich, because the functionality is in here, the copy paste. And that's my point, right? Make sign in, make a GitHub, GitLab, Gitbucket, whatever account and tell them, ask them why isn't working. Can't get extensions to function after updating. So who started this? Mocker Kalf started this. And Arch Linux, there is my little face here saying same here. So, and then you get mails because of your commit, your comment here, you get mails and suddenly somebody found the trick. And that's the point, right? We are helping each other. And yes, there are solutions like rolling back, fine. But somebody had the notion, the idea to change all the asterisks in a point. So that's it. That's the solution. Instead of URXVT asterisk, you need to have a point. And as such, let's go quickly to, well, let's let's do two things in the same time. Let's also teach you about scale and backup scale and all that. These are aliases, type alias and see what we got. We got a lot. Because I type backup scale, I have now a backup folder. This is what's inside ETC scale. And if you still don't know what that is, and go uh, watch the article and the videos on articlex.com. So this is Scale and Scale contains the source of our trouble. We can't copy paste because X resources needs to be updated. So this is prior to the update. Now I do my update. The new package comes in. There's a root package called. It's going to be copy pasted on etc Scale. So if you don't do anything, the problem will still prevail. You need to type a scale, then everything from etc scale is on your home directory. So X resources has been fixed and backup scale once more. So that's before the hairdresser and after the hairdresser, before the update and after the update. What do you do? You do, you take two pictures and you compare. Oh, your hair has improved. Okay, no, it's not about hair. It's about files. Every asterisk 
is now a dot. Eurix VT asterisk dot 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 all dots. And we have to fix this line as well for Emacs. So Emacs does not have a clue what transparency is, and that's why we've added Eurix VT background. Otherwise, it will not launch Emacs and will just show the error saying, hey, I don't get it. What this does, what does this mean? This transparency 80. So here you are, all the asterisks are gone and that's basically it, we have not touched anything else. Uh, well, not recently anyway. <laughs> and uh, we've done our scale, don't recall if we've done our scale, it doesn't matter, you can scale all you want again and again and again and again. And yes, every single time you'll make a config backup. So this one is gonna be backup with the date and the hour, everything there present. But this is a very interesting educational tool backup scale because you can quickly see what changed. What did we change? There was something else here as well, patch RC. We've added sys failed because sometimes we just want to quickly know, hey, uh, is there anything failed? Is a loaded unit failed? A few months ago we had one of those and we never knew, right? If you don't type this, then you don't see it or if you boot up or boot um, down, and there's no red sign there for a service that's not been uh, started, then you don't know. So we have this uh, new little alias, sysfailed. Is there anything failed in the system CTL? System D, all right. So that's how we learn. That's the University of Linux. That's what we provide, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. But please um, provide back. So if you find a solution, don't keep it to yourself, share it with the community. It's instantly shared with everybody else. All right, cheers.